Because this is a real-time chat video, it is split up into three shorter video segments. Part one is a show and tell of the most recent face sketches I have been doing in a little sketchbook and showing them as I create other project videos. I answer a few of the questions that have been asked about the face sketches in the comments of prior videos. Parts two and three are videos where I am flipping through my figuring book art journal and chatting about the pages. What is a figuring book? It's basically the art journal I use to experiment with techniques for art art journal pages, cards, and all sorts of projects. When you watch part two of this series, you will see why I call it a figuring book. Enjoy. A lot of art journal experiments in here. This is a quote that I had written down. I actually did an art journal page, but I jotted this quote down. I had a photograph. That's in another art journal. Many men go fishing all of their lives without knowing that it is not the fish that they are after. That's a Henry David Thoreau quote. Here I'm experimenting with stencils again. You can see the clocks and the, the all that round, I forget what it's called. Stencils. I'm experimenting with doing different stenciling on here using a purchase stencil. Just experimenting with what I can do. Here's my some experiments with uh, I did an art journal page that of a ballerina, Degas ballerina. I'll flip to it now since I'm on this page. And this was an actual art journal page that I did for a swap. Of course I sent the final original one away but these are my experiments as I was planning it out. And this is actual cut from a photograph of Degas' ballerina. And the quote is, she's like a ballerina in an old music box. And I had a music stencil back here. Here I took the same image, only I did the cutout and collage textbook in there. And here's where I was experimenting with the same. This was, I made a stencil out of this is what I did when I cut this out. So I had the negative space and I sprayed or inked through that stencil to make this on a Japanese, Chinese book page. The same quote. Here I was just working with different designs through that stencil. Here I was working with my, I like to design needlework, and I really like to do these scissors. And this is one of my scissors designs. And I always laugh at this one because I made that eagle's beak look like a turkey beak. I never did like that. And over here I, I changed it so it looks more like an eagle. But I had plotted all of this out by hand. Here I expanded that eagle's head. And this is the top portion of the scissors and then this is the bottom portion. I actually stitched this and sent it away in a swap. Mistress of a castle, a chain clasped at the waist by, oh, um, I'd written down the meaning of what a chatelaine is. I did an art journal page, a sewing art journal page, and I cut the letters here trying to figure out how they fit on my page of the word chatelaine, which is a chain or clasp at the waist of a woman in the 16th through the 19th century with handkerchief, key, etc. in it. They called them chatelaines. Here are some quotes that I copied down that I wanted to remember. Here's my ballerina. Again, I was working with it through different stencils steampunk stencil that of course that's not very successful but I was experimenting same thing here here I was experimenting with different different ways to use that music stencil that I put over here I have four different ways here I actually I think what I did was I cleaned off my stencil with a paper towel, and I kept the paper towel. <laughs> and of course, here's the two pages. 
And I'm really glad that I did this because now I have a record and a pretty good record of an art journal page that I sent away and mailed off to somebody else. Just more scribbly experiments on this page. Be good to use this as background. Same here. Here I was experimenting with, um, well, this looks like I was at Jimmy John's restaurant here. I think I was experimenting with plotting out some ATCs. This is another scissors design that I did. And here, this is not the final design. It's pretty close. But what I do is I have this concept of what I want. And the theme here was fall. And it was 2013. And so I just kind of sketch it out on the page. All this is is a rough draft sketch. And then I get into here where I start charting it out. And figuring out my colors and the different fabric sizes. And here's the bottom portion of it. I think I sent this one away too. This is just more. This was in preparation for an art journal theme here called Fabric Design. And here's where I started doing an ice skates scissors. And here again, these ice skates are not the best. But I just wanted to get a rough draft sketch and I keep emphasizing that's what this whole journal is about. Not to make end beautiful art, but to say, I want to put ice skates on here. I want to hang them off of my scissors. And, you know, so I just scribbled some ice skates on there. And then I have a sampler in the background. And then I chart it out again. The beginning of the ice skates in here the bottom portion of it. Here's the middle portion here. <laughs> Several pages. Here I was working with a transfer. I wanted to see if a an ink drawing, and this was sepia ink that I drew, just sketched out a pair of scissors and an ink bottle. And I wanted to see if I could do a transfer of that India ink. And it worked pretty good. You can see the image. You can see the scissors in the ink bottle. Make a nice piece of distressed art. Especially with all, everything around it, wouldn't it? Now I did some ATCs. Where I actually... I think this was for a Crazy Island Swap. And I actually cut six of these negative pieces here. Out of black paper. And then I mounted them on a colored paper on the background. So this is where I designed it out. Another scissors design. Just experimenting. I'm still in the process of charting this one out. I leave several blank pages. And there's some blank pages here. I got into um, experimenting with ink splatters with that little Tim Holtz air spritzer. And I had glazed the background of the page, and I this is alcohol ink that I splattered on there and spritzed with my the spritzer. And here's, here's the other part of it. Playing with different techniques. And here I got sophisticated with it again. <laughs> and I'm glad I did this because to me these are completed art journal pages um, of course I did not design this butterfly I cut this butterfly out of a, a of a transfer that did not transfer you know, I, I think it was for like a t-shirt and so I just cut it out and put it on this page and it worked very well here I trace the design around there. Well, actually, this is a negative because I can feel the the transparency of that transfer is right in here. And I just, just playing with it. But I'm very happy with how this turned out. Experimenting with ink splatters and transfers. Here you can see where my alcohol ink has faded through to the 
back side. Here's, if you can see this, here's the butterfly mask right here. Oversprays here as I'm working. Another scissors design coming up here. This happens to be the back of it. My ink faded through. Here it was, it's an artist scissors, palette scissors. I haven't charted this one out. I was just thinking how I might want it to look. Here I was working with different ways to place scissors on a page. And now I'm getting into some de designs for a de deconstructed art journal page that I was working on. And I wanted to work with a an acetate. This is a pretty thick acetate. I'm not can't remember where I got it. But I clutched dictionary paper on the back of it. In between this dictionary page and this acetate, I'd use some of that plaid's window paint that you can paint. And this is the Zentangle one. This was a design for a lady with a book in the background and a pencil and a paintbrush. And then I was experimenting with painty glitter on a dictionary page. This one turned out very well. This is on the back of another. I'll show you that in a minute. But I like this because I put down a medium and in the medium I had put I'm sure this is Martha Stewart's silver glitter. I can just tell by the feel of it. And the quote was my own quote was leave a little sparkle wherever you go. I think it was my own quote. Might have heard it someplace. But that's what I wrote on it. And here's this same concept. I didn't like how it turned out. I like the design, but I don't like the, the painting was not too good on here. Uh, it kind of blurred, and but it was a trial. That's why I have my figurine book. That's all this is, is working out different experiments. This is just coated paper from the Zyron sticker. I like to use this as palette paper when I'm doing acrylic painting, if I have some spare on hand. Here's another. I really do like this one. It's kind of messy, but I like the design. So I have my Mrs. Wilkins antique dress form and a steampunk wheel with vine leaves going through it. And I had traced that. I'd set my transparency over the top of it. I used a liquid leading which is for like when you're doing window designs and it's, it's a really thick, they call it liquid leading, it's a really thick substance and then you paint between it. But I liked it just like that. I like the design of this. I haven't done anything with it. I might have, I might have done the art journal pages in this concept if I remember right and sent them away, but this was my base design. And here I was, I was doing my figuring in here too. I had purchased a roll of watercolor paper and I was figuring out the different sizes and the number of pages and how much, considering the roll of water paper that I purchased, how much I was going to save. That's my figuring. I won't even begin to tell you what my conclusion was did more of the same here. I was just trying to figure out how it would fit on the roll. This is a template for a pocket that I put, that I made to put my, I made some little booklets for my urban sketching that I sent away in deconstructed art journal pages. The theme was your your hometown or your home state. And I made a little booklet of some of my urban sketching ATCs. Here's that roll. This is the label from the roll of watercolor paper that I used. It cost me $30 back then. And here's where I was experimenting with a stamp that I cut out of a background stamp. This is a perfume bottle. That was really fun to do. I did that for one of the creative arts 
collaboration hashtag events. There's a video for that. But this is where I experimented with it. Now I have some blank pages at the back. I stick things in here. This is an envelope template for an envelope. And this was a star that I used just recently on my Bible art journaling. This is scraps of washi tape that I made. This is a piece of scrap paper from painted paper that I put into a paper towel roll. Made my own painted paper roll that I could pull out painted paper from. I'm going to do more of that. Maybe using some of this dye. I was working with Jacquard's fabric dye, seeing how vibrant it was, and spraying through a stencil here. This was a dusty rose color. Here's a scrap of that dictionary page that I had collaged on the back of a transparency, and I have scraps of that window paint on there. Here's another stamped image from a background stamp that I designed a pink ribbon image from. I just stamped it on that page. When I wrote my Christmas story, Macy's Christmas Story, some of the chapters I would write out in longhand to get my thoughts down on the paper. And then I was keeping track of what I wanted to write. Did not follow this specifically. Did not even fill it out specifically, but that's what that's all about. This is just a... What is this? Oh, this is an example of that envelope that I made to hold my urban sketching. Little gusseted envelope, and I put a little sketchbook in there. Attached it to an art journal page. Here's another more formal template for it. I was experimenting with, this is very waxy, I'm not sure what I was doing here. Maybe I was trying to do a stamped area with that. It's a nice background. This is one of the pages I did when I very first joined the Creative Arts Collaboration Group. We had our very announcement of our very first hashtag event. This is a hashtag. I drew it with my white fine line paint applicator filled with white craft paint. Actually, I think there's two of them here. I don't know. I did more than one, but there's only one here. That's pretty thick paper. And here again, I was playing with that stenciling and stamping here. So that's what my figuring book is all about. I just, when I experiment with things, I make templates, I have trial pages, I do figuring, I try out different designs, like this template for the deconstructed art journal page that I was making for a swap. Playing with ink splatters, just different things. I'm not quite done with this book, so I'll probably... I'll probably fill in the rest of these pages before I call it done. And because I still have several pages here at the back to use. And then I'll get out my second book and start on it. So this journal will probably cover a span of about three years, three years of different projects. So I've chatted long enough. I hope that you've enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun doing these sketches. I think on these sketches, the ones that I do where I'm not sitting at my table, when I'm sitting in on my couch, I think I have more control over how I hold my little sketchbook on my hand. Sometimes I get it up close to my, my face. I think I do better on those sketches most of the time. And I'm not worried about the filming of it either. So I hope that you've enjoyed this journal flip and seeing my most recent sketches, and I will see you on the next page.